Hello, thank you for joining Matthews Digital. My name is Aaron, and today we are going to continue our discussion on the lending. We are going to see some of the roles involved in the evaluation of loan applications. We are going to conclude our session by writing a program in InfoBasic to calculate one of the roles. In our previous session, we have seen how to determine the total monthly loan payment. We used Excel and we also wrote a program in InfoBasic to achieve the same results. The total monthly payment gives an idea on how the expenses will grow and based on your income, you can already assess your repayment capacity and you can take decision to either increase or lower the amount you intend to borrow. The amount we calculated included principal and interest. However, this amount may include other components such as tax and insurance. The components may depend on the types of loans you are requesting for or the types of risks associated with the transaction. Now, assume you know how much you want to borrow, you have done your calculations of total monthly payments taking into consideration the tax and insurance. You need to do the following before you submit your application. Number one, you need to make sure you have a good credit history. The bank will always check your credit history. Number two, you need to know your income and expenses. Because your income and expenses will determine your repayment capacity. And the rules we are going to discuss will be based on both income and expenses. Rule number one is 2836. Component number one is the 28. 28 is also known as expense to income ratio or ETI. Your ETI simply means that you should not spend more than 28% of your gross income on mortgage payments. So for instance, if you are making 10,000 euros in a month, your mortgage payment should not exceed 2,800. The other part of the rule, which is 36, is also known as debts to income ratio or DTI. DTI means that the total of monthly payments of all your loans should not exceed 36% of your gross income, the income before tax. Now, Assume you already have a car loan and your monthly payment is 1000 in a month. If you add this to the mortgage payment you intend to take of 2800 then your DTI ratio is going to be 38% because if you take 1,000 plus 2,800 divided by 10,000, your gross income will get 0.38 or 38%. This is above the recommended maximum ratio of 36. You might get the desired amount based on other factors. But this is a violation of the rule. In fact, the bank may allow you to go up to 43% of DTI, but the recommended ratio is 
So in your evaluation, you should not exceed 36%. Now, depending on the loan you are requesting for and depending on the bank, there are other rules that might be considered. These rules are 30% and 25%. These are normally calculated based on your net income. Your net income, the payments of your loans should not exceed 2,100 euros. So 30% of 7,000 is 2,100. There is also a more conservative rule, which is 25%. So it means that your loan payments should not exceed 25% of your net income. So in this case, the total payments of your loans should not exceed 1,750, which is 25% of 7,000. To summarize, it is always a good idea to determine your total monthly payments taking into consideration all the applicable fees, taxes, and insurance. You need to maintain an excellent credit history by repaying your loans on time. Thirdly, you need to do the evaluation of your financial health based on the standard rules. There are other factors and rules involved in the evaluation of loans, but these are not in the scope of our discussion today. The debt which we're paying, how much we're going to pay. So let's start by CRT. We clear the screen. Okay, we have seen this. And then the next step, we need to prompt the user to give us the how much, what is their gross income. So we can use prompt. And then we say, enter your gross monthly income, okay? And then we need to collect gross monthly income, right? Then you can prompt again. with a, another request, enter your total monthly debt payment. Then we can, can collect total Monthly debt payment, right? This is what we'll be collecting. And after collecting, what we need to do, we need to do calculation. So we can say the TI is this total debt, okay, over the gross income. And then let's output this. CRT you can say your DTI, sorry, DTI ratio is, and then we can concatenate this with the DTI times. Because I want to add put now in a, in a, we want to add a percentage, okay? So this is going to do your DTI ratio is this times 100. So let's save program. Let's copy. Let's 
paste okay control v formatted if i i can do basic all right it's good now let's do catalog fantastic so as you can see now uh, we don't have any error so we can run our program you can say maybe we are paying maybe you're saying this is our income okay and they were paying this much for long your DTI ratio is 18.17% okay so we know our DTI ratio should not exceed 36%. So let's put if statement to control this condition. So we're going to say if DTI ratio is less than 0 0.36, then uh, we can tell the customer you are eligible for another loan else so meaning if the dtr ratio is more than 36 percent then we can we can output another message uh dti is greater than this so we need to do you have reached your maximum borrowing capacity okay and again we need to follow the best practice so let's move this 0 3.6 to a variable we're going to call it standard dti because this is the standard dti standard DTI ratio standard DTI is this amount okay let's do this and here we, we can I think this is it's more professional I think it would be nice to tell the customer what is their upper limit so let's change our message and say you are eligible for a loan as long as your as long as your monthly payment does not exceed that upper limit okay uh, now let's grab the gross income we multiply by this standard dti to get the upper limit okay all right so let's save and give it a shot we copy then uh, let's delete this one the existing okay fdy okay now we paste the updated source code control v okay f i okay so let's compile no errors good we catalog we run okay uh, let's say we're making uh, this much and we have in dates this much okay it says your dti ratio is 18.45 percent you are eligible for another loan as long as your total monthly payments does not exceed that much all right now uh, let's try with different amount let's say uh, we are making eight thousands as monthly gross income 
and our total monthly payments is um, let's say this much okay now it says your DTR ratio is 42 percent 42.5 so you have reached your maximum borrowing capacity okay so this is straightforward so uh, I leave you to experiment with other conditions uh, so you can check the operators uh, here is the list of all operators we only uh, used less or equal of course you can use equal not equals and so on so uh, if you have any uh, difficulties or any problems during uh, your exercise you can always come back to me uh, and uh, we sort out the issue so thank you i hope you had fun and you know now how to use uh, the if statement all right we have reached the end of our session of today. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed. And please subscribe if you haven't. Share and like this video. See you next. Bye-bye.